One thing I don't like about the pop-up menu in the portal is you can link to yourself. I guess that's okay, but it doesn't really make sense to me. And when you pop this up and go down to Osborne, and you can see Osborne Ida there. Is that a different Osborne Ida? How do you know? It doesn't make sense to me, so it's very easy actually to remove it from the pop-up menu. What we're going to do is create a conditional value list. So we need a relationship, so we'll go to Manage Database, and we're going to duplicate this table occurrence here because it's going to be based on contacts. We're going to relate contacts to contacts. We'll call this links underscore pop-up. Open it up, go KP contacts to KP contacts. And when I double click on this, right now, this relationship sees only one record. In other words, the current record on contact side only sees itself through this relationship. If we make it not equals, then it sees everything but itself. It's a simple little relationship. Tidy it up a little bit. Go into layout mode. Click on this change that value list. I'm going to give it a new name, exclude current. And I purposely made it a lowercase e here just because it just looks good to me. I want this to stand out and this to stand out. I don't know, maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right. What we have to change about this value list is we need to make it based on this choice down here. This is only related values. It's how you base a value list on the relationship so it doesn't show every single record in contacts. We only want the ones through the relationship. So we actually have to start up here because right down here we want contacts to be listed. So go to contacts and we'll go down to links pop-up. Choose exactly the same field. Choose the same one here and now we can come here and complete the relationship contacts. So what happens is this value list says I'm only going to look at things through the relationship from contacts as a starting point to contacts links pop-up. Has nothing to do with the current layout. Doesn't care about that. Your starting and ending point are here. Normally your starting and ending point would be your layout and your related field or your layout and your script and whatever you might do it's usually related back to the layout and what table it's showing data from. In this case it's independent of that. Doesn't care about it. It wants to look at contacts and relate over to contacts links pop-up. Everything's self-contained here. So we'll click OK, go to browse mode, and let's see what we've got here. If I pop this up and go down to Osborne, you'll see we have John Mark and John Mark, but no Ida. And if we come over here and look at this, we'll see that we have one John Mark removed, but the Ida and the other John Mark are still there. And you'll be noticing we don't have this blank row here. That's because I forgot in Manage Database to add the option right here. Pretty simple. Now when we click OK, you'll see that it has that blank row there so we can add a new one. I also forgot to add the relationship in here, the relationship field. Now this is going to create a lot of extra work for me because now I've got to rearrange two portals, this one and this one. Well, it doesn't show on here, but you'll see it over here. So we have to do the same thing twice. And you try to avoid that because interface work is a lot. I'm going to do one portal, and then your homework is going to be to do the other portal because it really doesn't make sense to waste time doing it here. So we'll come in here, and what I'm going to do is make room for that relationship field right here. I think it makes sense after the name and company. Put it right in there. So I'm going to make this zip code field a little bit smaller. In fact, you can see it's already a little bit smaller already, so we'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller as well, the email field. There we go. That should be enough room. We'll see. I'm going to move everything over. Just use the arrow keys. It won't take that long. I could drag it, but I just feel more precise this way. That looks good. And then we'll select just these ones and move them over. Oh, past my point. There we go. And then we'll drag a field out here. Let's see if the relationship label fits in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's enough white space there. And then I'll double click on this, go over to my links contacts two in this case, right? Matching it up with that and choose relationship. Let's move it over like that. And let's view some sample data. 
We'll eventually need that. I need to add the pop-up menu first. That looks like a good distance there. Let's make the pop-up menu here. So come in here to our inspector, make it a pop-up menu, and then create one called relationships. So you'll have things like spouse, family, partner, whatever you want to put in here. It's no big deal. It can be anything you want. And let's see what we get when we go to browse mode. Go to links 2, which will have to be on this record. And we need to have access to that field, so let's change that. Easy enough. And let's pop it up. The longest one is partner, so let's see if that fits. Not quite yet. So I'm going to go to layout mode. I thought I might be able to guess it right off the bat, but this is part of the length of thing. And so it's big enough now, but I'm going to give it a little bit uh, bigger area because I might add some other choices. So I'll need to take a little bit more away from the email, but remember this one is uh, increasing in size, so we don't have to worry too much. If the window is bigger, which it likely will be, the email field will get bigger. There we go. And that almost fit, I need to take just a little bit more off this. There we go. Let's go to browse mode. And that looks pretty good. Now if we go over to Ida's record, it should, if we had the partner, uh, this relationship field there also, then you would be able to see that information uh, inside that portal. But that's going to be your homework is to add this relationship field and try to make these exactly the same. You don't want any kind of, when you're walking through records, you can see, uh, you know, this, this information moving in like a video game back and forth. It should be in exactly the same spot.